All right, we're live with another one. Everyone hates Tesla, nothing new. But what if this is true? What if it's true that Tesla is going to explode? What if it's true that Tesla is going to go through the roof? I don't know, but let's find out. It's electric. I a Tesla bot. Sounds like science fiction, but hold on to your fries because this might be closer to reality than you think. Felix here, and today we're diving into a rumor that's been sizzling hotter than your French fries, Tesla and McDonald's. Two titans of their respective industries might be cooking up a partnership that could revolutionize fast food as we know it. Now, I never heard of this. Ooh, let's, okay, come on, let's go. And it's delivery. Now, maybe you're thinking I've lost my marbles. Well, what on earth could Tesla and McDonald's have in common? Well, yeah, I'm thinking that. That's exactly what we're here to unpack. And by the end of this video, you'll be looking at your Happy Meal in a whole new light. We're going to examine the probability of this partnership, the potential collaboration scenarios, and most importantly for us investors, the financial implications. How much does it move the stock price by? Could this be the next big opportunity we've been waiting for? And Winston, my golden retriever here, has been busy sniffing out some incredible trading opportunities so you don't have to wait for the next big thing to happen as well. We Man, this guy loves his dog. We are up over 94% on our teaching portfolio this year. You're curious to know how we do it on Wednesday. This week, Wednesday. I'm Let's We're not... Change. We're not curious on how you do it, but the guy always talks about his dog. Now, let's see what's up with this McDonald's partnership. EV and renewable energy company has been cooking up something big. They have announced the upcoming Robo Taxi event on October 10th. Might be exactly when you're watching this. And the anticipation is, of course, huge. It's not just another car reveal. It's not just like, you know, new tires or something. No, we're talking about the future of autonomous transportation. Tesla has been working on self-driving for years, and this event could be the moment when they unveil their master plan for a fleet of robo-taxis and therefore marvelous recurring revenue that'll make Wall Street analysts drool. Imagine hailing a ride with no human driver. It's weird, I know, but it means bringing down the cost of transportation, the reliability of transportation, the availability, more seats in the car and all of that. So from a futuristic kind of point of view, it just makes a heck of a lot of sense. Also, too, guys, there was nobody inside the elevator before there was somebody in the elevator. There's been a lot of people inside some things, and they're no longer inside some things. You're 30,000 feet up in the sky, autopilot, most of the time. Landing, takeoff. Most of it's automated. Now, that's different. Still a bit scary to me. So how does McDonald's fit into this then? Well, our friends at the Golden Archers have been beefing up their tech game. In 2024, they partnered with Google Cloud to deploy generative AI across thousands of locations. Who knew? They're not just flipping burgers, they're flipping the script on fast food tech. We're talking about AI that literally ensures your fries are served hotter and fresher and a new global operating system that unifies all their platforms and a data highway that manages the information from all their global operations. So the Big Mac is now a big data company. Now, it hasn't all worked out smoothly, though. They just put on the brakes on their AI-powered voice ordering system and drive throughs Apparently, it's frustrating. But they're not giving up on AI altogether. They're just regrouping and looking for more scalable options. And here is where Tesla comes in. McDonald's dropped a cryptic tweet that set the internet ablaze with speculation. Could this be a hint at collaboration with Tesla? A Tesla eats delivery service, perhaps? Or perhaps Tesla bots flipping burgers? Now, I know you're thinking, Felix, this sounds as likely as finding, I don't know what, uh, something unlikely. And you might be right about the unlikely, but stranger things have happened. So let's dive a little bit deeper here and see if this partnership has any merit. Let's put on detective hats and analyze the probability. Well, to start with, McDonald's put this rather strange tweet out, which I'll try to put on the screen for you here. Elon followed. Okay, I want to see this tweet real quick, guys. Let's follow. So something seems to be brewing between Tesla and McDonald's for the 1010 Robo Taxi event. Elon follows head of marketing. Oh, okay, whatever. And Elon Musk has followed the McDonald's head of marketing, and the two competitors could be forming some kind of partnership related to 1010 Robo Taxi event. It's about to pop off. McDonald's puts 1010. <laughs> Elon the goat. I don't know. 
I'm getting a little bit too excited. Hold on, let's, let me shut up. The McDonald's leadership, it's a bit of a hint there, and responded to it. That's sort of uh, the, the hard facts here. But then let's add some of the low probability factors in here, which would maybe give us a 20 to 30% chance of this happening. First off, that tweet. So while, yes, everyone's excited by it, it could be a clever marketing stunt. It might not be a genuine partnership hint. It's sort of like, you know, it's a surprise. It could be something amusing. Elon's got a strange sense of humor. Secondly, Tesla has a history of being a bit of a, you know, tease. And, and there. So they prefer to typically showcase their own tech rather than announce partnerships. But don't write it off quite yet. You see, there are some more um, moderate probability factors. I put this at sort of 50-50. Both Tesla and McDonald's have been dipping their toes in AI more than dipping and into the automation pool. There's a clear alignment of interests here. Moreover, there are synergies between their technologies. Imagine Tesla robotaxis zipping through McDonald's drive throughs or Optimus robots flipping burgers alongside human workers. Actually, there probably won't be any human workers. So it could be a match made in tech heaven. So what have we got here? In the pro, we've got McDonald's, global presence, 40,000 locations. They could provide a massive test bed for Tesla's robotics and AI. Tesla could also benefit from McDonald's expertise in managing very large scale franchise operations. And it could be invaluable if Tesla plans to roll out a robotaxi network in the US because how often do people order McDonald's? Like a lot, right? It could be kind of a first stab at the Uber delivery, Uber Eats network. And both companies are keen on reducing costs. And let's face it, that's what robotics and AI is about. It's like making stuff more efficient, less cost, less people in there. So they're kind of trying to solve, this, solve the same puzzle. And on the con side, well, Tesla typically prefers to develop and control its own ecosystem. And only once they've done it, they might, you know, hand it out to somebody else. But Elon has said again and again, you know, FSD is open to our car manufacturers. The robots are obviously not just being built for Tesla's own factories, but the plan is very much to make sure that they're in every industry out there. And McD certainly has enough venues to test. Uh, to test the actual phase. I think, you know, this is a lot of speculation for sure, but it's exciting. It's something that is exciting, guys. Whether it's going to happen or not, I'm not quite sure, but I'm very interested to see where this goes. Let's go to the hypothetical financial implications of a pilot program. Let's see what the numbers are like, because that's important. That's actually the most important part. We look at our four main areas where these tech-savvy savvy customers could revolutionize well, the fast food industry. Um, and then food delivery, right? Food delivery could definitely be very, very different. Imagine you're craving your um, McD if you do that kind of thing. And then you place your order at two in the morning and within minutes, a sleek Tesla robotaxi pulls up to your door with your meal and there's no human driver, no small talk, um, no, no tips, quite frankly. I don't think the robots are gonna ask for them. And maybe there will be a robot in it who'll throw it through your open window with absolute precision and it lands on your plate. Um, could be a game changer for McDonald's. Yeah, that would be a big game changer and no tip too. So not that awkward feeling where it's like somebody writes an ugly message inside of your food because you didn't give them a tip or they make this moral argument with you. Like, ah, you should give people tips. I don't know what's wrong with you. Like, like it's a have to, that entitlement. Oh man, that joint's just crazy, especially in America. It's delivery service lower cost, faster service, and maybe a larger delivery radius as well. So the drive-through of the future could be, you know, the drive-through that probably comes to you. And then we have in-store automations. Picture your local McDonald's, and instead of seeing a bustling kitchen full of human workers, you see a team of Optimus robots literally flipping burgers, frying chips, and assembling Big Macs with mechanical precision and faster with no brakes. And they're doing this 24-7, never call in sick, and they always get your order right. So it's kind of the perfect pit crew for your fast food meal, isn't it? Of course, take it one step further. You could put the uh, the McDonald's app inside the Tesla car, right? And you just say, uh, Tesla, order me uh, my favorite meal at McDonald's, please. And then let's drive to the nearest uh, drive through and, and pick it up. And the whole thing could also be automated. So. Yeah, quite not sure. People are reaching right now. Definitely. That's some reaching. We don't know what's going to happen, but it's very interesting to see what it is. So what does this mean for investors? Let's kind of move forward in the actual analysis numbers here let's take a take a step back and, and look at this what could this mean for the industry as a whole and for you as an investor most importantly first up the fast food industry could be completely different we're talking about a massive revolution on how food is prepared delivered and even ordered and it's a logical place to start because robots and ai are very good at replacing monotonous tasks that humans do again and again and again and again and we're actually not very good at it because we get bored and never we get tired and we make mistakes robots don't, don't do that so it's the 
go into factories 20, 30 years ago, and there were a lot less robots. What do the robots do now that the humans were doing then? It's the really repetitive stuff. It's the boring stuff. Flipping burgers, pretty boring, right? So it makes a lot of sense. And food delivery, yeah. I mean, if you're going to go and uh, go after Uber, which I think is what Tesla is up to here, you might as well go the full hog and, and do the whole delivery as well as the robo taxi thing. And you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if Uber doesn't become one of the biggest customers of Tesla robo taxis. And you might think that makes no sense, but it does, because Uber never spent the money to build out their own robo taxis. So therefore, unless they want to go out of business, they're going to have to buy them. So actually, Tesla will be able to compete and serve the whole market, I think. And also, let me just highlight this, because a lot of people just didn't know that, because I recently had to answer that on a question that somebody had. You know, a lot of other companies can license from Tesla, so necessarily other companies just need cameras for their cars, and then they could operate, technically speaking, the full self-driving or Optimus Robo Taxi. And so it's not that bad. It's not like you have to have LIDAR, radars. You don't have to have that ultra. You don't need all those different types of sensors that other companies like Waymo require. So this is very interesting. Now let's hit this outro before we get out of here. So you can type in the ticker here, Tesla. There it is. And then you can see the live institutional trades. And you can see that they're mostly bearish yesterday. A couple of big bullish ones here. And these are usually quite large trades. You know, some of these are in the millions of dollars, lots of millions of dollars. So these are institutions. So you put all that together, you get a much better picture than your average Joe out there. And that's why, why I like using it. So if you want to check it out, there's a link down below and there's a, there's a week's trial to tradevision.io if you want to play with it. So what do I make of this? I think, I don't know whether this is going to happen, MACD or, or not, but it really doesn't matter. I think ultimately what matters is that this shows the potential of what these partnerships will look like. There will be large companies that will buy or rent robots from Tesla for their manufacturing, for their delivery, for their food processing and so on. And there And let's stop it right there. Guys, that is the most important part, that there's going to be companies out here that are going to purchase some type of service from Tesla, and it's going to open up our ability to make capital. That's it. There's going to be other avenues besides just selling EVs, besides just selling the energy. We're going to be able to sell the actual artificial intelligence in some shape, form, or fashion, whether it's in the robots or whether it's in the actual FSD, to be determined. Do I think Tesla can deliver? I think Elon and the team at Tesla can deliver. Has it been a long time in development? Yes, it has. And it might not still be ready, but that's completely fine. Now, speaking to the small part about institutions and what they're doing, again, as an investor, you are not an institution if you're a retail investor. What institutions do is different from what retailers do. And you're just going to need to increase your financial literacy to be able to understand why that is. Institutions are moving money for pensions, large amounts of capital. They need to be guaranteed. They need to be stable. They don't have time for volatility or things that are going to be value add. They're going to wait for the value to be added and then purchase and buy up a specific stock. As a retail investor, you can do whatever you please. This is not investment advice. But again, it might be a little bit different than what institutions do, or you might do the same. It all depends on the individual and what they're actually targeting for their portfolio. But I think that this is great news, and I know that Tesla's going to have one heck of an event and I'm excited to see what happens. To the next one, guys. It's electric. Everyone hates Tesla. Apple, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Pepsi. All these companies are already involved with Tesla. Let's see if we could take it further. It's electric. Everyone hates Tesla. See you guys in the